Aloha, Organic Cornet here in the Crunchy Bin House. Um, about to drink some watermelon juice. Uh, Crunchy picked up this lovely watermelon in town and we made, we've made, turned it into half a gallon of watermelon juice, plus a little bit. So here we are, these two quarts. One for Crunch and one for me. So here's, here we are, Crunchy Bits. Oh. Organic Conrad in the Crunchy Penthouse. Two pints of watermelon juice on day 28. Woo! Uh. I had 10 pints so far, so that's two more. Makes me at 12 for the day. Wonderful. Just a little oh, bit more air in the bottom. No. Top you up right there, mate. Grazie, grazie, nigga. That's one watermelon, one watermelon makes half a gallon. Hasta de la vida, muchacha. Great. I know I use the metal juicer, but you know. One step at a time. I need my juice. And although I'm looking into drinking more coconuts and not juicing watermelon ever again. Well, not in this machine anyway. Day 28, 12 pints. Got to drink at least another 12 today. Learning that the more I drink, the faster I can aid this whole juice process forward. Process forward. So. John Rose talks about getting a juice fast done in 30 days that would normally take 90. So if I can really flush, flush, flush from now on in, maybe I can be done at day 60 and just be juicing for fun for the last 30 days. We'll see how it goes. All I know is that the more I juice, the more I need to go to the bathroom. And I remember someone saying to me, is it normal to go to the bathroom like three times a day? All right, sorry. I saw a, fi a comment on Facebook and I, and I said, is it normal? I just changed to raw vegan diet. Is it normal to be going to the bathroom three times a day? And I wrote in my comment, yeah, I'm a raw vegan. Three is, is minimum every day. Three is minimum. And now that I'm on a juice fast, it can be as much as nine in a day. So you've got to be ready for that. You've got to know this is happening and be prepared to be close to a bathroom if you're juicing as much as I am and flushing as hard as I am. If you're just doing a gallon, it's not such a thing. It's still a big thing and your body fe feels it. When you drink as much as I am, you've got to be close because every time you get that urge, you should really just squat right there and then. Right there and then. Grab a cup, squat right there and then. Oh, that sounds terrible, but do it. Do it. Have some plastic cups you don't care about like, ha are hanging around the house everywhere everywhere so that you can just pop a squat and do it and walk around naked if you can if you can't then okay walk around in some shorts if you can't do that well you know whatever you can do but make sure you go as soon as you can it's so important because like i was telling it's the same with the, like phlegm your your body's get it good it's all prepared wraps it in a little package sends it to the mouth and you spit it out you hock that loogie you don't swallow it you don't squash it around in your mouth, you hock it, because it's packaged, ready to go. And if you let it sit around there, swish it out in your mouth, touch it with your tongue, it starts to dissolve in your mouth, and next thing you know, that loogie is back in, absorbed back into your body. Well, that's exactly the same thing that's happening in your colon. So if you get the urge and you don't go, then your colon says, oh, we need, we, it's not going, we've got to start reabsorbing. And your colon is the most absorbent place on your skin. So of course it's gonna absorb it right back in. So you've gotta go, 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 go. That's all about flushing it out, drinking all the juice, loosening it up, and then getting it out, getting it out, right? Saturating your body with water so that the blood is pumping all the, all what it needs to, where it needs to go in your body so that you can help f flush that process, help the lymph, help the blood. Get on the juice for us. Juice, juice, juice. Yeah, it's uh, the, the, the more you juice, the more you realize this is a thing, the more you realize how, how it's an essential it is to be able to flush these things out. So it's not a juice fast. 
you got to concentrate on drinking a lot and going to the bathroom a lot. All right. Well, you know it's working well when you do go four or five times. I was thinking about this. I'm like, out there in the world, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just as, just like everyone else. I've been like everyone else. We're all just a product of our environment, of our, of our, of our upbringing. So, I've always thought that it was an inconvenience to go to the bathroom. That, that, oh, I can hold it, or oh, I've got to go right now. Man, this sucks, right? That kind of attitude towards it, right? And. That's, that's, how could, where does that come from? Why do we have that? We should not have that attitude. There's no way we should think like that. We should be thinking, great, another package to get rid of. Let's get rid of it right now. It wants to go right now. Let's get rid of it right now. Gone. Great. My body's cleaner. And, and so on and so on. And then get to a point where it, there, there is no, nothing bad coming out it's all good energy coming out because all you have in your body is good energy and all you're putting in is good energy right now i'm putting in all good energy but i still saturated with all this other energies that i've had to deal with my whole life and that's years and years of of build up but amazingly beautifully the body's built that well that it only takes 90 days to clean out 20 years of bad eating. 20 years in 90 days, done. Maybe, maybe, maybe two 90 day sessions, depending on how well you do it and how many drinks you drink per day. It's all, that's all very important. The more you drink, the better your flush was. So it's not about getting to the end of the day and saying, oh, I made it, I did it eight pints and I'm good. No, it's about getting to the end of the day and saying, I'm bloated. I did. I can I drink three more coconuts now before bed? Can I do that? Should can I? Yes, I can. Let's do it. Drink as much as you can, as fast as you can, on as in in the small amount of days as you can. That's what this juice fast is about. Say putting a putting a number on it, saying you need to have so many pints a day. That's wrong. No, you need to have as many pints a day as you can manifest in your day and still afford to do it tomorrow, right? And for the rest of the 90 days. If you're a kind of mathematically inclined person, do the budget, write down the numbers, figure out how much you spend on food today, gas, cooking, all that other stuff, time, and now factor that into your raw foods, how much cucumbers and watermelons you can buy, grow, etc., and max it out. Max it out. Cancel other things that you don't necessarily need. Like cancel your cable bill. And your telephone bill. And your car payment. No, car maybe not. And get a friend. If you know that's too much. That's too much. So maybe not your car payment. But cancel your... F no, your phone's a lot. <laughs> Man. But definitely cancel your gas. Cancel your gas. Cancel your gas payment right now. You do not need gas coming to your house. You don't need gas to cook anymore, and you certainly don't need gas for hot showers. Don't ever take a hot shower ever again. I know, it's a tough one, especially in the cold place. <laughs> if, you, no, if you're gonna have a hot shower or hot bath, you've gotta heat it in a stainless steel pot on the fire that you built yourself with firewood. And even then, you're still getting steel energy when you have that shower or bath. Interesting. <clears throat> so, just to recap. Drink as many juices as you can, every second of every day. If you're not doing anything, get a juice to drink. Juice, juice, juice. Juice as much as you can afford. And then forage some more so you can afford more. There's, there's, find the neighbor who has the orange tree or the apple tree 
or the mango tree. Find the neighbor that has those juicy fruits that we can juice together. Get them excited about a juice fast, and now you guys can share all that fruit together because there's no way they can juice all that fruit. There's no way. There's, one tree is no way too much fruit for one person to juice, fortunately. <laughs> so we just got to get these trees and get these people together. That's what it is. Because I've seen the trees out there. There's their trees. There are so many trees. And a lot of these trees are just letting the fruits getting dropping and rotting. And I've watched it for years. So this year, let's make sure that doesn't happen. Let's make sure that we all, we're all juicing and we all love fruit so much that every single fruit that ripens on a tree is juiced and used. Because right now, oh my God, you should see what it looks like on the red road. It is like a mango seed field, literally. There are two tracks where the tires go and everything else is just mango seeds because so many mangoes have fallen from the tree and no one's eaten them. They just sat there and rotted. So next year, or whenever the next bumper crop is, or even now, because the season's still gonna go for another month, let's get everybody picking them up and juicing them. We can all go on a free juice fast, free mango coconut, and drink 20 pints of that every single day. Let's start doing that, okay. Talk to me if you need to know where some mango trees are. I'm Raw Organic Conrad. This is my 90 day juice fast, welcome to my world. We're on day 29, me and bitty one, bitty Crunchy boom. Bits. He's here with me on day 29. Don't uh, get, no, don't make no mistakes. This uh, man has taken his juices uh, every day for the last 29 days, just like I have. Learning this new way of life. Do not like this video. Do not subscribe. Just juice. Aloha. We're all getting it right here. Boom, boom, boom.